Uh, hello guys, good day. I will going to show you the injection timing of this uh, man TGA 1914. So this is not a common rail. This uh, injection pump type, which the engine is a uh, D2676. So I will show you the timing of this uh, injection pump and injection timing in the flywheel. So before we remove the injection pump, in case that we need to remove, so we need to open first this timing hole. This one, Allen key number. I think this is number uh, five sixteen. This one. So we need to open this one first. Not tight. So actually, I cannot remove the injection pump. We are only doing this just to show the injection timing and the injection pump and the flywheel. Okay. We already remove the cover and the timing timing hole. There is a hole that we will see inside actually it's hard to see now we need to turn the engine clockwise until we see the timing mark in the injection pump timing hole this is the ring gear it's a line already mm -hmm. Ten. This one. Ten. Nine. Eight. This is five. This is five. And this is zero. Yeah, you are. Zero degrees or top dead center. This is zero degrees. So, so turn again and one, two, three. There is already a white pin color because I already removed this one before. So, this is three degrees after top dead center. The timing mark in the timing in the plywheel. So we will check there in the injection pump timing hole if the timing mark of the injection pump is matched in the timing mark of the flywheel so because it's uh, possible that the uh, top dead center is number 6 so we will check there in the timing hole of the injection pump if it is matched So see guys, there is no timing mark in the injection pump hole, meaning our top dead center is number 6. So we need to turn again in one whole turn until we see the timing mark in the injection pump. Right. Yeah, but then you have to eat it. Hop. Hatton. Hatton. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the timing, the timing mark in the injection pump.
So, that is the timing mark in the injection pump. So, level at the center of the hole. So, we will check there in the flywheel what the uh, degrees there. Okay, we'll go there. Okay, guys. This is a uh, 3 degrees after top dead center this one so if you remove the injection pump in case it will need to remove in your vehicle so you need to timing first in the injection pump then look at here in the flywheel flywheel timing mark because uh, most of the engine is not the same uh, timing like this this is a uh, 3 degrees after top dead center some other engine is a uh, 0 degrees or uh, 7 degrees before top dead center this engine is uh, 3 degrees after top dead center so we will done hope you get some information and idea about this very hard effort <laughs> so that's it guys thank you very much for watching